right here my camera's a little crooked so let's fix it so you can see our calendar better there we go okay all right so over the weekend we had two home days where we didn't come to school right saturday and sunday so we left off on the 16th and then we had two days where we weren't together i'm gonna put those up so 16 keep counting 17 18 so what's today if yesterday was the 18th when i'm counting i say 18 what comes next 19. Today is Monday, October 19th, 2020. All right, let's figure out how many days we've been in school. So I'm going to add another one over into my ones column. So I'm going to add another straw. Right here it is. It's a yellow color. Okay, I'm going to stick it in here. Now, look at how many straws I have. I want you to estimate how many you think this might be. Remember, an estimate is just a really smart guess, a good guess. How many do you think this could be? Show me on your fingers. All right, now let's count. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh, do you guys remember that we can't have 10 ones in this pocket, right? What do we have to do when we get to 10 ones? Got to put them together and make a group. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to group together these 10 ones. Okay, they can't be by themselves. So now we know we don't have to count each of these every single time. That saves us some time, doesn't it? We don't have to count them every single time because we know that this many is always 10. Now, I can't put it in here anymore because this isn't just one anymore, it's how many? Ten, so it needs to go over into my tens column and that's where I'm going to stick it, okay? Now, let's figure out how many days we've been in school. We're going to count all of the straws that we have together because those represent or show how many days we've been in school. I'm pulling out my tens and my ones column. I don't have anything in ones, but I have some in tens, okay? Here are my tens. How do I count these? I don't count them by ones anymore because they're not just one straw. They're 10 straws put together, right? So I'm gonna count them by tens and then I would keep counting by ones. Here we go. Let's count 10, 20, 30. And I'm all done. I was still trying to go back. Okay, I'm all done. 30. Now let's build the number 30. We've been in school for 30 days. How many? groups of 10 did I have? How many of these do we have? Count them. One, two, three. We had three groups of 10. So I'm going to change my two now over to a three. Okay. Now how many ones did we have? How many do we have in here? None. There's nothing. Zero. So I'm going to change my nine to a zero and I've got the number 30. Read it with me. 30. Three groups of 10 and zero ones left over is 30. All right, now let's flip our number over. Friday was 29 days. 29, 30, okay? What do you think the 30 is gonna look like? We just filled it. So what do you think this 30 will look like? I want you to even think about, look at our, how it kinda goes. All black and then blue. So what color do you think that this 30 will be? Hmm, it's blue. It's a blue one too. Now look. This is the number 30. Anytime you hear 30 and any of the 30 numbers, they always start with a three and then they'll have a number after it. Now just 30 on its own doesn't have, it's just a zero on the other side. So we read this 30 because there are no ones. So it's just 30, no ones left over. Read it with me, 30, 30, 30. This is the number 30, okay? I'm gonna stick it right here. Now let's do our shape of the day. I've got something really cool for you guys. Before we do our new shape of the day, I want to flash the shapes we have been working on. Okay, we've been working really hard on these. What's this? Rectangle. Hexagon. That one's kind of tricky. Circle. Triangle. Square. All of these shapes are our flat shapes. Hold your hand. Show me what it looks like when you hold a flat shape. 
flat like a pancake. We also call those 2D shapes, right? Okay, so we've got all of our flat shapes. Now it's time to learn about different kind of shapes. Let me show you what it looks like. What do you notice about this shape? You may say it looks like a ball. I get that, you hear that a lot. Because it does kind of look like a ball, doesn't it? It's round. There are no corners, no sides. When I hold it in my hand though, it's not flat, is it? There's space in between my hands. That's because this is not a flat shape, like the shapes we've talked about before. This is called a solid shape. Can you say that? Solid. See how much space is in between my hands? If I had a really big one, I could have even more space. I might even hold a, a like if you had a huge ball, it would be this big. The name of this shape though, we don't call it a ball even though balls are this shape, we call this shape a sphere. Can you say that? Sphere, sphere. This shape is called a sphere and it is a solid shape or a 3D shape. I'll show you what a picture of a sphere looks like. Okay. You see it? You see how it has the black line and the little dotted line? That's showing us that it is a, a 3D or a solid shape and not a flat shape. Even though the picture is flat, the picture is trying to show us that this is actually a sphere or a solid shape. Okay, so that's what it looks like right there. Say sphere. All right, a sphere. Today's shape of the day is a sphere. Okay, now let's figure out what our number of the day is gonna be, okay? Are you ready? Let's flash our cards and I'll freeze it on our number of the day, okay? How many? Six, two, one, Three, seven, four, eight, nine, zero, ten, five, six, two, one, three. Freeze. That's our number of the day. And today I want you to do the number of the day for three. So flip over to whenever you get to the number of the day. It's your job to do it today. All right, good luck guys.